No one should ever enter a battle unprepared, even if it's just war games involving pin pellets that shoot out of not guns but markers. You will be issued a custom 19 model statement marker today. Okay, the marker should have a barrel sock. This is very important. This is to prevent accidental hits. The hopper, right? This is where you put in your balls. You can take up to about 180 balls, all right? When you clip it on, make sure you hear the clack sound. If not, all right, when you fire, the thing will just pop up. All right, then you drop your balls. Down here is your gas gauge. After each game, as long as you have about 2K, or the number 2, it's fine. You don't have to go and refill. Okay, if it's anything below, you just go over there to refill. As you can see, this is angled. Okay, so how you aim, basically you put this on your shoulder, alright, like this, and you look down, you bend it a little bit, okay, then you just fire. Some of the other markers, okay, this is a home personal marker, alright, it functions the same as this, except that it looks nicer. <laughs> and it hurts and, more? Uh, not really, it hurts about the same. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but it has a longer barrel, so in theory, with a longer barrel, it can reach further. So when it fires, compared to this one, when it fires, it goes. Okay. No matter how sick you feel, you want to puke and all, puke through the mask, you can wash it. If your eyeball drop out, you can't do anything about that. Alright? So make sure this is kept on at all times. And more, of course, are these paintball pellets, sold in bags of about 500 shells at 75 ringgit, or 30 sing dollars. These orange balls weigh about 5 grams, and their shells are made out of gelatin. Upon impact, coloured paint made entirely out of vegetable oil makes for an entirely edible, totally biodegradable tool of paint. Also highly recommended for these jungles, besides long sleeves, long pants and trekking shoes or boots, some light headwear, gloves, and tons and tons of mosquito repellent. Yep, just to reiterate our point, there is a big difference between mechanical markers and electronic markers that some of the more professional players use, though all of them are usually pre-calibrated before a game to shoot below 300 feet a second or roughly about 90 meters a second, for fair game. Now this is a mechanical marker. And this is an electronic marker. Well, boys have always loved their toys, so in the next clip we found out more about some of the regular paintballers, how much time and money they spend on their sport, and if they do have lives outside of scenario paintball.